Hi there! We are gonna be making this pretty bubble blanket. I know it's like it's like little popcorns, little bubbles. With these yarns. I'm gonna be using three colors and this is the brand. Baby Velvet. Here's how much I'll be using of each. It's 100% polyester, unfortunately. Here is the color, um, the hook size, this is for the white, this is the color for the somewhat gray, light gray one, and here is the, the gray one, the dark gray one, and this is the name. So although it says 5 millimeters, because it is kind of chunky, I am going to be using a 5.5 millimeter. So you need your hook, scissors as always, yarn needle to thread it all in. So let's begin. Basically I'm gonna put them together in this order. I'm gonna be starting with this dark gray one. Let's start with a slip knot. Pull this through. Hold on to it and hold both ends. Okay, and then just pull. There you go. I'm gonna do 111 chains so that I will have 110 stitches on each row. You can get lost really easily in this yarn. You might want to put markers every 10 chains or every 20 so that in case you do lose count you don't have to go back all the way but it's up to you i'll see you as soon as you finish those chains here we are 111 chains okay that means you're going to have 110 stitches on each row now we're going to go back now this is the tricky part, because like I said, this yarn is hard to see. Sometimes you just have to feel. And we want to go into this next stitch. Right there, if you can see it, okay? So basically you're going to have a braid. There's always two sides, so you're always going to go on this, like in the middle, between. Insert your hook into this next stitch and yarn over pull up a loop so you have two loops on your hook and then yarn over again and pull through both loops okay so then the next stitch obviously you don't want to go in there because that's the one we just did We're gonna go in here. Okay? So yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. So that's one, two. Okay, now the next one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now the next one. Insert your hook. Like I said, sometimes you just go in blindly and you're and then you see that it's the right one. There. There you can see it. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna keep doing single crochets all the way to the end. 
in the UK, that would be a double crochet. Okay, and then I will meet you at the end. Don't forget to count your stitches to make sure that you have the amount that you started the chain with. So like I said, if you have 110 stitches on your chain, then you will have 109 when you go back. So if you have 100 or just 100 on your chain, then you will have 99 going forward. Um, I started with 111 on my chain and I will have 110. The reason why I picked that number is because when we do the bubbles, I'm going to be doing them every 10 stitches. Here we are at the end of the first row of single crochet. So when you reach that point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna yarn over, pull through, so that's chain one. This does not count as a stitch. And then you turn. After your turn, you need to find that first stitch again, which like I said, is sort of hard with this type of yarn. But it's right here. This time, you're gonna go through both of the loops. So one, two, So you insert your hook, you yarn over, pull up a loop, there's two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. That's your first stitch. You insert your hook. Like I said, you, you kind of have to feel your way. So you know this was the bottom one. You can see there's like a little space in between and you want to make sure that you grab both, that you go in between both of those loops. So you insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And we are going to continue with these single crochets. So after you've done this round and another one, then we'll meet back. Okay, so basically you have your basic chain at the bottom, the first row of single crochets. This is the second one, second row of single crochets. Then you're gonna have a third one so at the end, you're going to turn, come back around with single crochets. So that will give you three rows of single crochets, and then we'll meet again. Because that's when we'll start the rows with the bubbles. Once you reach the end of the third row of single crochets, so you have your chain, and then three rows of single crochets, you want to chain one, and turn and then we're going to do nine single crochets so insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops When you come to this stitch, this is where we're going to do that bubble. So you want to yarn over, don't forget this step, insert your hook into that stitch, and yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Okay, so you're going to have two loops on your hook and we do that same step again into that same stitch 
So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now you have three loops on your hook. Okay, now again, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you have four loops on your hook. Then again, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you have five loops on your hook. Then one last time. Yarn over, into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, now you have six loops on your hook. So once you have these six loops, you yarn over, you pull the yarn through all six loops, like so, and then you go into that next stitch and do a regular single crochet to tie it all off. And then you have that bubble. Okay, so this was stitch number 10, and then that single crochet, that's stitch number one again. So you want to do nine stitches, nine single crochets again. So that was one, two, Eight, nine. After nine single crochets, you're going to do that bubble again. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two. You have two loops. Yarn over, into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, now you have three loops left, yarn over, into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, one, two, three, four, Yarn over, into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, one, two, three, four, five, so one more, yarn over, into that same stitch, it's hard to see obviously, let me just show you. So there, that's where we want to go into, right there. Okay, so yarn over into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over, and you're you're going to pull through these two. Okay, so pull. Through those two, now it's hard to see. So now you have one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Six loops left on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six. There's your little bubble. Then do a single crochet into that next stitch to close it all off. And you just kind of pop it, pop the bubble. It sounds like bubble, right? Like bubble gum, but it's like a bobble. B O B B L E. There you go. So we have two. Keep going. Like I said, this was the first single crochet. You have to do nine, so that was one, then do nine, and then on the tenth. That's when you do the bubble. You do that all the way to the end. I will meet you here at the end. Now we're almost at the end. Remember when you started, so there's no bubble here at the beginning. Therefore, at the end, you are also not going to do a bubble all the way at the end. Okay, so that it looks even. So this will be your last bubble, so you should have, if you did 111 stitches on your chain when you first started, like I did, which means you have 110 stitches in every row, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bubbles. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this last bubble. And then your single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so that was one. Two, three, eight, nine, and ten. This is the one where you would normally have another bubble, but you're not going to do another bubble at the end. Okay, so ten. Chain one, this does not count as a stitch, and turn. This row, we're only going to do single crochets. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. When you get to the bubble, so you're counting, so here I have nine single crochets. 10 and then the bubble so you just go into that top stitch that you see you don't need to do anything special finish this row with single crochets i will meet you at the end don't forget to count your stitches once you finish this row of single crochets you're going to keep going with that so you're gonna so after the row of bubbles you will do three rows of single crochets. I will meet you back here once you've done those three rows. Here we are. So after the row with the bubbles, then you did three rows of single crochet, chain one, and turn. Now we're going to start with a new row of bubbles but we don't want to put them at the same height. So instead of doing nine, nine single crochets and then the bubble, on this row we're going to do four single crochets, then the bubble on the fifth stitch, then count nine, and do the bubble on the tenth stitch. Right? So that there in between. 
So it's just this first one that you have to do four single crochets. Let's do that. Four. And then yarn over into that next stitch. Two, four, six, and single crochet. So this was one. Now you count nine single crochets. So one, two, three, eight, nine. Now we do the bubble. Yarn over one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six loops. Yarn over, pull through all six, and single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so you see how they're gonna be. And do a bubble on the you know tenth stitch and so on. Nine again, do a bubble on the tenth. And now I'm just gonna keep going until the end of the row, and I will meet you almost at the end. Okay, so when I get to the bubble over here. Here we are. Now we've done two of the bubble rows. Let's do this last bubble. One, two, three, four, five. Six loops on the hook, pull through, insert your hook, do a single crochet. Mm, sorry about that How One of our dogs is just hanging around here. <laughs> okay, so, um, so one single crochet. Just do single crochets until the end. Three, four, and five. Okay, remember, just like we had in the beginning, that's how you're going to end this row. Okay, now chain one, turn. And we are going to do three rows of single crochets again. We will meet back again after you do those three rows. And this is what it should look like now. We have the starting chain, three single crochets, one row of bubbles, three rows of single crochets, another row of bubbles, and three rows of single crochets again. Now we're going to do another row, bubbles. So you're going to start this row by doing nine single crochets, one bubble, nine single crochets, another bubble, and so on. Let me just start this one. One. Nine single crochets, and then the bubble. Two. Three. 
Oops. Four. And five. One, two, three, four, five, six loops. On your hook, yarn over, pull through, and single crochet into the next stitch, and pop the bubble. We're going to keep doing this. Now three rows of single crochets, one row of bubbles, three rows of single crochets, one row of bubbles. Okay, back and forth. Then the next one will be four. You start the bubble on the fifth stitch. Remember, always with three rows of single crochets in between the rows of the bubbles. So finally, I've done 12 rows that have the bubbles with each time putting three rows of single crochet in between. So I ended this last row with the bubbles. And now I'm gonna cut this yarn off because I'm going to switch the color. And I'm going to switch to this white color. So I am almost at the last stitch. Like so. And then right before finishing this single crochet off is where you're going to switch the color. So this is how you switch colors. You started your single crochet, you grab the new color, and so instead of pulling the old one through, you drop that one, you grab the new one, you pull it through both loops, so you finished off that single crochet with the white, then you chain one, and turn. We're just going to keep doing the single crochet. Basically, you're going to keep going with the white, just like the, you did with the, with the dark gray. I'm going to do three rows of single crochet, and then one row with the bubbles, and then again three rows of single crochet, and so on until I have 12 rows of the bubbles in total. I'll meet you back here. Now I have the second color done, so I have also 12 rows of the baubles with three rows of single crochet in between each one. And then on this last one, so I don't remember when you switch the color, you start the stitch like so, you pull through. And then you grab the new color and instead of pulling that old color through to finish the stitch, you pull this new color through like so. And chain one. Remember, this chain does not count as a stitch. And we're going to cut off the white one. Just make sure you cut off the right one. <laughs> there you have that little end. Now turn your project 
Obviously it gets heavier. And then we're gonna go into that first stitch and single crochet. Now always make sure that you're counting the stitches that you have. I just want to make sure, especially with this type of yarn, it's really easy to lose count or I should say it's hard to go back and count them because they all kind of blend into each other. Like I said, just make sure you have the stitches that you're supposed to have, which is in my case 110 on each row, including the rows that have the baubles. And with this yarn, it's also easy to go into the wrong stitch because it all looks like one. When you're working with the white, you will notice that if you, cho if you choose the white one, like I did, it's really important to be counting along. Now this one is a light gray. So it's almost like the white, but it's a little bit easier to see. So since my last row was the row with the baubles, <laughs> baubles, it's kind of like bubbles, bauble. <laughs> it all sounds like one. Um, like I said, my last row was the one with the baubles. And now this is going to be my first single crochet row. I'm going to do three of these. And then again, do a row with the baubles until I have 12. So 12 rows of baubles with three rows of single crochet in between. And that with every color. Okay, so the same here with the, with the white. And then this sort of gray, light gray. So I'm gonna keep going and I will see you in a little bit. Like I said, don't forget to count. It's really important that you don't lose track of the stitches that you have in each row. So we've reached the end. We finished with all three colors and before you do this last stitch, um, just have your middle color, whichever one you pick, you should have some leftover of each skein. Um, so pick the middle one and you are going to switch colors again. And that is um, so we can do a border. Sorry, my dog. Okay, I guess she's angry. <laughs> if you remember, on the last stitch, you basically start the single crochet, and you pull up a loop, and then you grab the new color, and instead of pulling the old color through, you pull up the new color. Okay, pull through both because you dropped that other one. And then you chain one. Okay, and you turn. You can cut the old one off. That's what I'm going to do. And now we are just going to single crochet our way back. By the way, before I forget, so I don't know if you remember when we started here at the bottom, we started with the basic chain and then three rows of single crochet. So therefore, when you're done with the last row of baubles, you single crochet three more rows and then you change the color. So again, we're going to single crochet all around this to basically make a border. Okay, you can also do a double crochet if you like, but I'm just going to keep it simple and single crochet all around. And if you have enough, you can actually finish off with all three colors. So make three borders around it. 
but that's up to you. And in this row, when you're going back, it's obviously easy because you're you have the the stitches already there. But let me meet you at the end of this row to show you how I do the sides. Okay. So I'm almost at the end of this row. A single crochet. This is the last stitch. So what I do here is I do a single crochet and then I make another single crochet into that same stitch to round off this corner. So now this is the tricky part because you know there's uneven stitches. So basically what you want to do is you just want to try and cover each space wherever you find that opening. This one is a little bit hard to see. So just keep doing that. When you come down to the end, you want to do the same on this last stitch. You want to do two single crochets into this last stitch to make a corner. Single crochet along the chain all the way to the next corner. And here again, do two single crochets into that same stitch and then back up you go on the blanket, okay, to where you started with the border, which will be here. So once you're up here, you will also make one extra single crochet to round off this corner. By the way, if you haven't put these threads in, don't worry about them. You can always do that at the end, okay? So one, and back into that same stitch, two, for the corner. Now. Keep going along this chain. I think I missed one right there. See, it's very easy to, to not see the, the stitches. If you don't see them, you can usually feel them. The hook will go right through. On this row, the one that we started the blanket with, I don't go into that single one. I basically go in between the two stitches. So there's like a little hole in there where the two stitches meet. Okay, so here we are almost at the end. So if you can see, this is that same stitch that we started. I'm just gonna close it off. You cut the yarn and then you just have to thread it in. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a yarn needle and I am going to thread all of these loose ends in. And here's the finished product. You have a nice warm big blanket for the crepe. So your baby can use this for a long time. I hope you enjoy making this project. It does take a while, but in the end, you have a really nice blanket. Have fun making it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.